Okay, so let's continue um, with the integration by part. Lah. So in the previous video, we already discussed um, two examples, two basic examples on how to use the integration by part techniques to integrate okay, the product of functions. All right, so um, generally you will see that again, um, we actually use this. Okay, and then for me, when I do the discussion, I'm using the simplified version. That means I simplify the dx over dx. And now I'm having u dv. Sorry. So u dv equals to uv minus <coughs> v du. All right, so this is the equation that I'm using where, uh, throughout all the discussion here. All right, but generally it is the same like what we show, I show you in the notes. Just that I simplify the dx and dx only. Okay, all right. So um, just a very quick recall. So to apply the formula, right, you need to actually um, divide, okay, or, or you need to decide like, or determine which part of your question belongs to u and which part of your questions belongs to dv. All right, so you need to have a certain rules to refer. Like, right, so there's a certain rules here we call it as late rule. All right, so if you are having the higher level for the type of function, right, so you make it as u, and then if you're having a lower type of function, then you make it as dv, okay? So in the previous, previous video, we already discussed two basic examples on how to apply all this, okay? Uh, for this video, we are going to discuss some of the questions uh, that you might actually need to apply the integration by part for twice. That means for two times. Okay, and therefore the steps will be a bit longer. Lah. That's why we cover it here in this video. All right, so one of the examples is example 21 part C. Okay, right, so we can have a look for part C here. Okay, so just to, uh, again, just to recall back, um, we are going to use UDV equals to UV minus VDU. All right, this is our formula. Okay, so let's start. If you want to integrate x squared sine x, so x squared, you need to look at the type of x squared first. So x squared belongs to algebraic function A. What is the function type for sine x? So the function type for sine x will be t, the trigo. All right, so from here, you can see that a is higher, t is lower, right? So the higher function will be the u. So you can let u equals to x squared. <clears throat> All right, and then your dv. So your dv is equal to sine x dx. And one part you need to do differentiation. One part you need to do integration. That's why I add on the integration sign for the dv part. All right, so at this part here, differentiate u with respect to x. You are having du over dx equals to 2x. Integrate this, you are having v. So V, what will you get when you want to integrate sine x? So if you want to integrate sine x, you might have negative cos x. You will have negative cos x here. All right, so of course, you need to have some basic knowledge on a simple differentiation and also the simple integration here. Okay, so now we settled our first part, then we are going to apply the formula. All right, so this is our question. Okay, so we are having x squared sine x dx equals to uv. So according to the first part here, u is x squared, v is negative cos x, okay, minus the integration of v du. So v is negative cos x. What is du here? So if you refer to this part, the du will be 2x dx. All right, so du means 2x dx. All right, so if you try to simplify it, you will have negative x squared cos x plus 2 and then x cos x dx. All right, so this is uh, after I simplify everything, then this is what I get here. All right, so as what I mentioned, the first part of the answer here is already part of your solution, part of your answer already, so you don't need to bother about it. But at the second part here, you need to continue do the integration to get the final answer. 
Right, so if you look at this part, uh, generally, again, you realize that eh, this part of integration also involves of product of function. So again, this is algebraic and this one is trigo. Can see that or not? So it is the product of two different types of function. Therefore, if you want to continue with this integration, you need to do the integration by part for a second time. So I use the green color part here. Lah. So A is higher than T, right? So your U should be equal to X. And then your DV for this part will be equal to cos X DX. And because you need to do integration, therefore you just put an integration sign. Lah. Okay, so for U equals to X, you apply the differentiation with respect to X. So you are having one. Integrate this, you have B. And then what will you get when you want to integrate cos x? So when you want to integrate cos x, you should have sine x here. So as what I mentioned before, I will ignore all the plus c here because this is one of my final steps here. I will only put the plus c at the very last step. Okay? All right. So this is the part that I have. Huh? Okay. Then now, I want to apply the integration by part again. Okay. At this part. So 2 is a constant. I just copy. Alright, then I will apply the integration by part formula in the square bracket. Alright, so I'm having uv again. So now you refer to the green color part. u is x, v is sine x, minus integration of v du. So what's your v here? Sine x. And what's your du? So again, if you continue from here, you will see that your du is equal to 1 dx. So du will be dx. Alright, so the green is the uh, integration by part that I applied for the second time. Okay, then again, you can further simplify it. So the front part will not be affected. Alright, then for this part, if you try to multiply in the 2, you will have 2x minus uh, 2x sine x minus 2 integration of sine x. Alright, so now to get the correct final answer, you need to apply the integration. So this integration, now you can apply it as a simple integration because you know how to integrate the simple function for sine x, right? So you can just apply the simple integration here. Okay, so when I want to integrate sine x, I will have negative cos x. And since it is the last step already, there's no more integration at the end of the solution, so I should have put a plus C, a constant here. Then rephrase everything. And this is what we get. Alright, so this example is what cause of you need to apply the integration by part for two times. Alright, so the first time I write in red color. So maybe I should put it in the square bracket. So this is the first time. Integration by part for first time. And the green color part will be the integration by part for second time. Right? Okay. So uh, so far for the A level exam, right, uh, what we can observe is they ask until integration by part for two, twice. That means two times. Uh. All right. Of course, if they want to continue further, they can. All right. Just that uh, I think two times is enough for you to understand the whole thing better. Right. Okay, so this is what we have for example 21 part C. And for example 21, if you observe all the example part A, part B, part C, they are all indefinite integral. So we are going to discuss now how to try the question for definite integral that involve integration by part. Okay, so I will want to discuss example 22 with all of you. But for this video, we will focus on example 22B first. All right. So A and C, we will discuss it later, but I want to focus on example 22B. The reason is, if you look at the question itself, it is actually the same question as what we discussed just now, which is integration by part for two times. The, the example 21C, can you see that? The question itself here is the same, just that they put in the limit. Okay? All right, so this is the question that we have, and they want you to prove that the final answer that you get is pi squared minus 4, which is the exact value. 
All right, so since we already apply the integration by part just now for twice, uh, for two times just now, so for me, I will just straight away use the answer here to apply the definite integral. Okay, all right, so I will start from this, this part. Uh. So part B, if they want you to integrate pi and then zero for x squared sine x, since I already know that after the integration, right, this is my answer. So without include the plus C, okay, I will copy the answer here. All right, and then you are having pi and zero. So you need to substitute the value for pi and zero. Okay, so um, of course in exam, you have to apply, you have to go through the integration by pi for twice or two times okay then until you get a final answer then you try to substitute in the value okay the the limits uh. okay so you can substitute the pi in first so pi when you substitute it inside you will have negative pi square and cos pi okay then plus 2 pi sine pi plus 2 cos pi and you minus now you substitute everything with zero so the zero is negative zero square of course the whole thing is zero 2x 2 times zero this whole thing also zero therefore you just left 2 cos zero okay so maybe i put it here so 2 cos zero okay then you can now try to simplify your answer Alright, so, okay, cos pi. So, what's cos pi here? Pi means 180. Alright, so if, let's say, um, you are very familiar with the value of cos, then you should know that cos pi is negative 1. So, negative pi squared multiplied with negative 1. Sine pi, you should know that it is equal to 0. Sine 180 is equal to 0. And then plus 2 cos pi. So again, cos pi is negative 1 minus 2 cos 0. So 2 cos 0 is, cos 0 is a 1. Great enough. All right, so you try to simplify it from here. You will see that it is pi squared minus 2 minus 2. And that's why you will get pi squared minus 4. All right, so this is what we get now. So this is one of the examples for um, integral integration by part that uh, involve the definite integral, that involve the limits. All right, so you can actually try to apply the integration by parts already uh, until the last step, then only you try to substitute the limit. So this is what we have here. Okay, so of course, to save time, I straight away apply the answer in the example 21. And straight away apply, apply the steps here. Lah. So if let's say in the real exam or what, then you need to really show that the process of how you get the answer for integration by parts for two times. Right? Okay, so for this video, I will stop here. And then next video, uh, I'm going to discuss other example from uh, other uh, example, for example, that involve the integration by part for definite integral. Alright, so see you in the next video.